Oh, welcome back. Thanks for joining us on your Monday morning. We have prosecutor, behavioral expert, and author, Dr. Wendy Patrick. She's written a book to help you make smarter choices in life. So what a good way to start off your week. Her book is called Why Bad Looks Good, Biblical Wisdom to Make Smart Choices in Life, Love, and Friendship. You could now find it on Amazon. Uh, Wendy's joining us live this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure. Of course. So let's dive into what your book is about. What inspired you to write it? Well, you know, it's about exactly what the title uh, insinuates. Why bad things look good? Why bad people look good? Why the seduction of a silver tongue? Why bad people sound good? It's really about how to, to separate the dangerous from the desirable. The why I wrote it is a almost 30 year career in uh, law enforcement. First, as, first I was a public defender and then I was a district attorney, but you know, all of that time was dealing with victims that made really bad choices. Mm. Um, not that you need to have somebody charged with a crime to make a bad choice. I don't know that there's anybody watching that hasn't made a mistake. We all have. In where you put your trust in who you put your mm -hmm. trust and what kind of activities you engage in. So, you know, we spend so much time in the self-help aisles of the bookstore. I decided to write this book to really kind of guide people towards the world's best seller, which is the Bible, which has biblical wisdom to make smart choices in, in life, in every circumstance. Now tell me, what are some of the things that you talk about in your book to help us <laughs> arm ourselves with knowing why those bad things seem so good? You know, that's a great question because it took a long time to actually narrow down what I wanted to write about to 26 mm. chapters. Um, so for anybody that says, there's no way I can open the Bible and read cover to cover, well, guess what? In order to find out why bad looks good, you don't have to. There's 26 index chapters about things like the deception of public perception, why lust feels like love, um, the, the lure of luxury, the, I mean, all of the different ways that we look at the surface um, and we're just fooled until we take the time to look below the surface and really get to know somebody else. When frenemies look like friends. I mean, I could go on and on. So many areas where you really have to learn a little bit more before you can make a judgment about anybody else or about any other activity you want to engage in. If there's one chapter that is a go-to, which one would it be for you? I would say the first one. That's mm. why I started with it. The deception of public perception. In other words, safety in numbers, internet in influencers, Sometimes people get swept up in the, oh, well, everyone's doing it, not realizing, no, not everybody's doing it. You know, this is why parents say, show me your friends and I'll show you your future, is there really is an investment that we make in each other, in ourselves, in patterns make the person, learning what you need to learn before you make a bad decision. You know, it's happening subconsciously in this world because we are always inundated with messages, whether right. it's marketing, whether we don't even realize it, it's somewhat like thousands and thousands of subliminal messages that we don't even know that's happening. Um, and so it's so great to have a small, like you said, airplane sized book that you could take anywhere. Show it off right before uh, we head to break. Wendy, where can we find it? Because you know, this is it's important. A, it's available everywhere online and it is airplane size and that that was one of the goals is, you know, because internet doesn't always work and it's a wonderful short read. Great. Well, thank, thank you. you so much. Again, um, why good looks so bad. The cover looks very enticing. Probably another reason why you chose it. That's right. It's actually the title I've been writing for Psychology Today for 10 years, and it's a really good, really good short read. Oh, thank, thank you so much you. for joining us.